Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm 33 years old. I live in Auckland, New Zealand. I am originally from the UK. Um, I chose the Thrive program because I've had a metaphobia, which is the fear of sickness for 25 odd years. Um, I found the program online, read the reviews. Obviously, the reviews are fantastic. Didn't 100% feel like it was going to work. I just thought it's just going to be another one of those things that I try and it doesn't work and I'll just put the book on a shelf and I'll never look at it again. But it arrived and every book, every page, sorry, was as if someone had just followed me around all my life and I hadn't even known and they were writing a book about me. Um, before the programme, I feel like I was thriving but not 100%. Now looking back, definitely wasn't overcoming the fear. I was going out, I was enjoying life. I have a two-year-old son who I was we going out twice a day and enjoying our time together and then I actually fell pregnant for a second time. I'm 17 weeks pregnant at the moment um, and my first pregnancy went fantastic in regards to how I felt. I was a bit sicky but I know I was causing that rather than actually feeling morning sickness. Um, this pregnancy has been a whole new level. I've been so poorly. Um, I haven't actually vomited, but I've been feeling so sick. And I still feel so sick. But 17 weeks ago, I was almost ready to have a termination because I could not cope with the feeling of feeling so poorly all the time. I couldn't look after my two-year-old. I felt like the worst mum in the world. My poor husband, I was phoning him in tears every day. He was having to come home every day from work, which luckily his work had been great about it. Um, he had to look after our son all the time. I literally would just sit in a room. I probably sat in the room for the first six weeks of the pregnancy on my own in a state of panic and I couldn't do anything and the slightest bit of sickness I would take anti-sickness tablets and then sometimes even take them too much too soon even though it was supposed to be every eight hours I'd sometimes take them every five hours because I was just so scared of feeling more sick than I already was. So I found a consultant. Luckily Rob put me in touch with someone and worked through the book with me. Um, I've had the book since 2011 did, looking back now, I didn't put in my effort that I should have. I was interpreting things maybe differently to what the book was actually selling me. Um, but now working with someone, it's been the best thing I've ever done. Um, I now know what I need to do on a daily basis. I've just finished my eight weeks with the consultant. So I have the next six weeks to go of putting everything into practice. But even days now, I don't wake up and feel sick. I don't even think about feeling sick, even though I still have morning sickness. It hasn't actually gone yet. Um, but I don't even think about it. I now just tolerate it. And I know it's not going to last forever. And I haven't been sick, so I haven't vomited. And I'm not sure how I will be when I actually... If I, you know, I may never ever be sick. But if I am to be sick, I feel like I know how to cope with that now. Which I've never, ever, ever felt like that. I've always been the worrier in the family. I've always been the one petrified of everything. Well, now I'm not at all. I I still have a bit to go. Because of the virus, we've struggled with the social anxiety side of obviously not really being able to leave the house or see people. Um, so I'm still working on that. But I'm leaving the house every day now. And I didn't leave the house at the beginning of this pregnancy. I leave even though I feel sick. And I've never, ever been able to do that. If I feel sick, everything gets cancelled and I stay at home and feel sorry for myself and panic. When now I feel sick, I get my boy ready and we go out and we have some fun. And like I say, I've never, ever been able to do that. And working with Thrive has been the best thing I've ever done because I just feel like a whole new person. And my biggest thing was, at the beginning of Thrive with the consultant was I needed to be awake for my c-section because they put me to sleep with my first child because of the sickness because obviously people are vomiting 
when they have a c-section they didn't want to risk that with me in case I started to panic but this time I'm determined to stay awake so I can remember my first hold with our next child and I'm fully confident that's going to happen now I like I say for 17 weeks ago I would never even thought that now I can't wait to have my c-section and I can't wait to hold my child and yeah it's just been life-changing and I just I'm so thankful I found it online and obviously being in New Zealand it's a long way from the UK but I still got help I still managed to get over all these massive hurdles that everyone has and it's worth it it's a million times worth it I would forever be grateful for finding the program and being able to live my life again and look after my little boy so to anyone who looks at it and thinks it's not going to work I did that I was the same but it works and it's been great and my husband's so happy now because I'm not in a mood with him all the time and I'm not stressed about everything and I'm not shouting at him for the smallest little thing so it works it's great and bring on the c-section because I can't wait Thank you.